I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk today about. Hey everyone, and welcome to vlog episode two. I wanted to talk today about getting unstuck and the word commitment. I was reading a book recently by a new friend that I've met named Sterling Hawkins. And this book is called Hunting Discomfort. He has a chapter in there about being able to commit very far into the future and how we always resist. Not always, but some of us resist committing far in the future because it, we perceive it as taking away from our freedom. And that really speaks to me with what publishing has become. Um, if you speak to or read anything that any uh, successful author has, is doing or publishing guru who's teaching how to publish and be successful with self-publishing, they'll tell you often that you have to do pre-orders. So the basic idea is that not only do you release a book, but you have a pre-order available for the next book that's going to be available after that new release. Um, and some people will even go as far as doing two, three, or four, or five books in advance and having their the rest of their year or like a couple years in advance uh, figured out in their whole career. And personally, I've been railing against this like internally for years now, and it makes me feel like if I do that, I'm joining a rat race instead of doing a artistic thing that it takes as much time as it takes, I guess is my, has been my attitude about it. And then like if you publish a book, I felt like the pre-order system made it so you just didn't even care or you didn't give yourself any credit for the book you just released. Instead, you're just worried about the next one and then after that it's the next one and then it's just it's this never ending wheel and I've been going against it and I've just like he talks about in this book um, I guess the reasons why is because it just makes me feel like I don't have enough freedom in the future and I'm just taking that freedom away from my future self as soon as I'm done with writing the book that I'm on so am I wrong Oh, I've got a dead battery coming. All right. <clears throat> what was I saying? Although there's no way in hell I'm going to commit to three, four, or five books into the future and set them all for pre-order, I have been doing some soul searching the last couple weeks after I released my latest book, and I'm realizing that if I look back over like the last 18 months, the two things I'm most proud of are number one, the first book in the Ali Falco series because it was a new book outside of the David Wolf series. So it took me a lot of courage to branch out of my comfort zone and write that book. The second thing I'm most proud of was creating my first vlog episode which by this point was seven and a half months ago, almost eight months. And since releasing the Ali Falco and since doing that first vlog episode, I have written another wolf book and published it. And then I did zero videos. And I realized that I've, I've been leaving my options open and not committing to certain things. And it's led to a lot of waffling and inaction. And I feel like I have this small inner self voice inside of me that's like really skeptical and uh, trying to protect me. Uh, and it's saying, what do I talk about? Who would wanna watch a video by me? Who cares? You'll make a fool of yourself. You'll look stupid, you'll sound stupid. And then I have a, like a bigger voice inside 
that's saying, well, you can talk about whatever's on your mind. And people who want to watch it will watch it. It doesn't matter who cares. It matters that you care. Otherwise, you wouldn't be thinking about doing these videos and you wouldn't have created your YouTube channel in the first place. Who cares if you stumble along the way and look like an idiot because that's what happens when you're learning something. And then there's that other voice like um, that says, kill the neighbor because he's just like looking at me weird and I mean he needs to pay in, in blood and it's like and in this book by Sterling he has this one chapter that is called get a tattoo and get a tattoo basically doesn't mean get a tattoo but it means uh, figuratively get a tattoo and commit to what you want to do and that's the antidote to inaction and to feeling stuck. The tattoo I'm going to put on the upper right butt cheek of my mind is I'm going to commit to making 10 videos in a row once a week for the next 10 weeks. These videos will be whatever comes to me at the moment and I don't know. We'll find out as it comes and I'll also be doing some stupid skits. Why? Because I want to. And that's just another thing in my brain that tells me I want to do that. So I'll be doing that as well. And the second thing I'm going to commit to is I commit to writing books two and three of the Ali Falco series by one year from today or one year from around now, June of next year, I'll have the second one out or the, you know, book three out and book two, I'll uh, publish this winter. There, that's my tattoo. And... Here's my second video talking about this random crap that I'm talking about right now because I wanted to. So with these two commitments, that means I write full time and I have a vlog, which are two things that I've always felt are at odds with each other. And from now on, or at least for 10 videos, I'm going to prove to myself that I can do both things and I'm going to see how it goes. I hope you've taken something useful from this video. And I appreciate you watching. And I will see you next week.